hi and welcome to part 2 in this part we'll deal with the script.js file before that let me go to the style.css and add a margin top to this container in the style.css now so this container add a margin top 20px and let's set the overflow to hidden okay yeah that's looking good now let's go to the index.html and include the scripts which is jQuery and the script of JS file itself. Okay, now let's go to the script.js file now. Okay, this is the script.js file. Okay, I have some variable declarations inside the dollar document ready function and uh, I'll explain all this. This is some um, this section contains the variables I mean some objects saved to variables okay for example DOM object container to container ball to ball paddle paddle one two and the restart button and in this section we have some initial setup which means when the game starts we are saving before doing anything we are saving the containers with height parents with ball height and ball width okay and this is game over uh, variable is set to false and when the game is over we'll set it to true okay ball center and parallel center are for saving the ball center position and parallel center position ball go down and ball right left is used for the moment of the ball okay top and right left angle depends on these the pixels okay and move right p1 and move left p1 is for player one's paddle and move right p2 and move left p2 is for the controls of player two's paddle okay and war who won will have the name of player who won the game and this function is used to detect whether two divs collided or not okay now let's see our first task is to move the paddles paddle one and paddle two <coughs> so let's go and do that it will be done on the key down and key up of right and left arrow keys that's for the player one and a and s keys that's for player two so let's go and write that document dot on key down function e and we'll save it let's save <coughs> excuse me let's save the key press to a variable key E dot key code and let's move the paddle one to the left first okay so left arrow key so if key is 37 that's the key code for left arrow key and this move left p1 is false is false it is true uh, it is false now your yeah, condition is true and do what we want to update more p1 with the request animation frame method and a function is passed to it left p1 in this tutorial we're not going to use the set interval function and instead we're using the request animation frame because it is more smoother in all 
and the animations are more smoother in all the browsers across all the devices okay so okay request animation frame works like work like this uh, when we call it an id will be assigned here and when we wanna when the animation and the animation starts and uh, when we want to cancel the animation we can call the cancel animation frame method with this id passed to it okay uh, so now let's go and uh, define this m method oh. function left p1 is this is used to move the paddle to the left which means we have to decrease the css left of paddle one okay. so paddle one dot css left will be pass end value of paddle one dot css left minus say 15 px okay and we'll call the same thing after i mean inside this function so that it will become recursive and call it again and again okay that's done now we will write the key up function for this too We should cancel the animation right when the key is up. We should write we'll write that too. Key up function. E echo e dot key code if key is 37. We can check if not false, but it's not required. Okay. If key is 37, then call the cancel animation frame method. Animation frame and pass the ID that has been assigned to it that is move left p1 okay and update it with move left p1 is for updated to false so that next time on the key down when it checks this condition will be true okay so paddle one's left movement is done let's go and check it see I'm pressing the left arrow key it's working and uh, we have a problem here because it goes out of the container we don't want that let's okay here in here we have to check whether the parse int value which means parallel1.css left is greater than zero Save, come here refresh yeah so in order to <coughs> restrict the moment of parallel one out, out of the container in order to do that we have to check whether the parallel ones CSS left is not less than zero which is it is greater than zero okay. that's how we can restrict that so that's done now let's go and write the code for right arrow key which is 39 else now it's just copy paste everything is simple if it is 39 and uh, move right p1 is false copy it move right p1 is equal to right underscore pm p1 which we have not defined yet okay let's go and do that function right underscore p1 should move the pattern to the right paddle one to the right so paddle one dot css left will be pass int value of Sorry, parallel one dot CSS left plus fifteen. We're going in, we're moving it to the right. That's why plus fifteen. 
okay and we have to call this function again so that's how request information works right so let's write the key up function also else if key is 39 which is the right arrow key cancel animation frame of move right p1 and set move right p1 to false <coughs> let's go and check it yeah, left is working fine right also then here also we got that condition okay let's go to the function right underscore p1 and let's check more if no no let's copy this if possible we have to check here we have to check we don't have a right defined to the paddle we only have the css left so with uh, some mass we can do that because we have to check whether CSS left of paddle one is less than container width minus paddles width. So that's how we'll get the uh, I mean paddles left. Okay, so paddle one to CSS left is less than container width minus paddle width okay that's working too okay fine left and right arrow keys of paddle one is set now let's go and write i uh, mean this let's go and write the god for paddle two we are using A and S keys, so control C, else, paste, okay. The keys are 60, uh, 65, and 83. Okay, so on key down. Key is 65 which is a and this will be more right more left p2 and this will be left p2 and this is more right p2 right underscore p this is for the a key and this is for s key <coughs> so let's define the oh, the functions are almost the same this is 2 this also 2 and changing checking for bad 2 Changing the CSS of pattern two. This is mode of P2, left, left underscore P2. Okay, then this also pattern two. Changing the value CSS of pattern two. And this is more right P2, and this is right P2. That's done. Functions are defined now. Just a key up function. Copied, paste. This is uh, so. This is 83. Forgot to do that. This is 65 and 83. 65 when 65 move left P2 and move left P2 is false and this when the s key is pressed which is, which is 83 cancel animation frame of right b2 and move right b2 is set to false 
let's go and see that yeah first of all yeah see the title 2 it's working perfectly without going out of the container okay so that is done everything related to the paddle is done okay so we'll see how to move the ball and all the other game over conditions in the next part